That's really the hardest part because uh, it's like um, being a boxer about to go out in the ring or being, you know, a, a lion about to be released, you know, into a, a gladiator arena or something crazy. I mean, you just, it's the hardest thing because you have all these uh, uh, thoughts racing through your mind. You just want to get in there and get on it, you know. Uh, but once you're walking up the ramp, it's quite an adrenaline rush. It's an amazing thing, and you look out and you see all those people, and the best part is when you finally do get released, the chutes open and you get to walk out there, right, and do a little wave, you know, and then this roar comes up and, you know, however many, thousands of hands come up, thousands of hands come up and wave back, you know, yeah, and it's, it's amazing feeling. Still my favorite, one of my favorite moments in life it, and why I still do this after 25 years is when you walk up that ramp and my base tech hands me the thing and uh, I put it on and, and just do a, like a pick scrape on my strings to make sure I'm getting the line and everybody's getting the bass and that and you hear the come through the PA you're like fucking right let's do this man you know that's my one of my favorite moments in life still to this day it's um uh, you know, there's always technical curveballs. So you got one employer or another running over to you. Okay, this is screwed up, or that's screwed up, or hey, this is how we're rolling there. Watch that, and this is going on. That's doing, you know. So it, it's different every night. You know, I guess is my point. It, oh, every show is different. So, um, you know, we we've just been doing some Iron Maiden, Sabbath shows, um, Metallica stadium shows here in Europe on this run. But Nebworth, this is hollowed ground for us. So we're up for this, man. Let's do this. We're really pumped about this one. You know? Yeah, the history of this place is definitely not lost on us and uh, all the people who've played here going back to Zeppelin and, and Pink Floyd and you know uh, you know early ACDC and that kind of thing um, yeah, last so, time we were here Iggy Pop was playing in William or walking yeah, well no the Stooges yeah. oh, not that's right. Iggy Pop right, right, right. the Stooges yeah. and I got to meet Heavy. James Williamson who's one of my all-time guitar idols here on this ground so again you know uh, for me this is a special place just on a personal level and for us as a band it's, it's such an honor to come back here and it's um, you know we've done it a couple times and it's, you know become become a really uh, wonderful kind of familiar if that's you know appropriate to say We have a Canadian tour after we finish here in Europe. We finish up in uh, Helsinki, Finland on the 13th, so it's about a week from today. Uh, and then uh, we take a little little break, and then we go through Canada, and then uh, I think we're going to be done for the year after that. We've been going for over a year and a half, something like that, on this record, so it's time to take stock. Turn, turn into mere mortals for a while. I mean, we always say this, if, if, if uh, re record companies and management types, they want you to write on the road, like, okay, well, when are you supposed to write the fucking album? Maybe between catering and soundcheck or between the interviews and catering? And, um, you know, if we did, I mean, we're always throwing riffs around and stuff and jamming, but the, but the thing is, like, we'd only write songs about tour buses and catering, you know? So we got to go home, live, experience life, and reconnect um, with our families and, you know? Uh, I, I have a wonderful wife. I walk in the door, she hands me a dog shit shovel and said, Dog yard's over there, rock star, get to work, you know, it's funny. And here's some light bulbs and get the ladder out, you got work to do. So uh, she, she slaps me down pretty good, you know. So uh, it, it's, it's, I just, we need to get home.